it's another day and welcome back to my channel. It is morning time for me here. I'm just getting ready um, for, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm glad you guys are along with me for this one. I'm Megan, if you're new. Hi, I live in Lancaster County. I'm a pregnant Mennonite mom at the moment. And yeah, I have a really, really fun video for you guys today. So I'm getting ready here, like I said, and I just really quickly wanted to show you my outfit and something else I've been loving with my skin lately. I picked these up at Target. They are the Shea Moisture. Um, this is the one I use in the morning. I just used it. It's for all skin types, but I have like dry to combination skin, I would say. And it's Papaya and Vitamin C Brighter Days Ahead Serum. And so I just like put a couple drops on my face in the mornings. And then in the evening, I have this same brand, Shea Moisture. Um, I'm really getting into my <laughs> face oils lately. This is African Black Soap. It's called, it's an overnight resurfacing serum and it's for blemish prone skin which i feel is kind of like me um <clears throat> although my skin has been doing a lot better recently i guess we'll blame it on pregnancy hormones i don't know <laughs> but um this one you only need like two or three drops and it just like spreads all over and it feels so good at night i just feel like my skin is so thirsty which makes no sense because it is so humid around here but anyway i just thought i'd share those with you guys in case you're looking for something in the drugstore price range at Target. And then here is my outfit of choice today. I'm finally starting to embrace the bump a little bit more. I'm 24 weeks. Um, you can kind of see it there. And this cropped woven shirt I got off of Amazon. And then I sewed this skirt. It's just super high-waisted. I hiked it up really high. <laughs> and yeah, it's just such a comfy, easy outfit. You could do this with a dress as well. If you have like a black dress, just throw this shirt on top. Then you don't have to worry about any skin showing underneath there, like a gap or anything. And let's talk about my little head wrap tie thing here. It actually came off of a scrunchie on Amazon. I just had it in my drawer and never was wearing it have a couple of them actually and I'm like you know what I love this for summertime it's too cute to just leave in the drawer so I have a lot of like kind of fun tasks on my agenda for today and I thought I'd take you guys along with me but the first thing I need to do is tidy up my workspace my kids are having a fun aunt Rita day today they're over at her place so I can hopefully get a lot done I'm hoping <laughs> that's the plan anyway but my office space is kind of a wreck and I want to tidy it up. I have decor that's sitting here that I just need to deal with. I've had it there for like two, three weeks maybe. And then the whole rest of my office is just a mess. I need to tidy it up and yeah, just get everything organized again. Um, I have some clothes in here that I've got to get taken care of and I'm excited to hang these. So stick around for that. These are plant propagation things you might have seen in a different video. We'll see how they work out. I'm excited about them. And this is for a little DIY project we'll be doing later. So I just need to get this whole space cleaned up and feeling like home again. share a lot of cleaning motivation here on my channel because goodness knows you guys can go other places for that but I do spend a lot of time in bits and pieces throughout the day just doing little daily cleaning things like this and I wanted to let you know that I use blue land and I love it when I go for a cleaning product I like it to be not only good smelling and fun and actually work but also be a good price point too. And Blue Land is so neat because all you have to do once you order a Blue Land cleaning kit is just reorder the tablets each time you need a new bottle. Instead of having all that plastic packaging coming back and forth, you just have these bottles that you can reuse again and again, and they have a multi-surface spray, a glass and window cleaner, and then a bathroom cleaner as well. And they all work the same way. You just fill your forever bottle with warm or hot water, and then you drop in one of the tablets, and you just sit there and wait till it dissolves and then pop on the nozzle and you're good to go. You're not reordering single use plastic over and over again. You're actually just reusing these sleek looking bottles. So for a bottle of multi-surface spray, you're literally paying $2 <laughs> because that's all that the little tablets cost. And if you buy in bulk, there's even more discounts. They also have a really pretty hand soap duo that comes in a glass bottle and I have that as well. So to get started with Blue Land, all you're gonna need to do is swipe up and use my code MEGANFOX15 to get 15% off of your first kit. And they also ship to the US, Canada, and the UK. So you guys can all get started on Blue Land if you haven't already. Okay, I love that rug and I love this skirt, but they do not love each other. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. All that dust and lint. Okay, so I love, love this tree here, but it's kind of big, it's getting in the way. Every time I want to film in the mirror here, it's kind of like bit bopping around and it's just a little too big. So I picked up this Schifflera, it's like totally overgrown from Home Depot for 15 bucks. It's like huge. And I'm just gonna swap her out for her. And I, I have a little baby Schifflera here at my window and another one in my living room and I love them so much. I just love the shape of the leaves and everything. So when I saw this one, I was like, yep, that's the one I want. It was a good price and it's so big and I'm gonna actually make some cuttings, I believe, and see if I can propagate some more plants because I feel like they'd be great gifts. So this already comes in a nice little, oh my goodness. This comes in a nice Ikea white pot. So I don't feel the need to get a new one right away. So I'm just gonna set this back in my sun porch and plop my Schifflera in the basket. And then it looks like I have to vacuum again. Yay for me. So many of you have been saying how you love the style of video that you can just turn on and kind of listen, half watch while you're working. And I am the exact same way. I just love videos that can kind of just be a soundtrack to my work. So I just thought I'd chat with you guys as I hung up my little propagation stations. Something I've been listening to lately, I just discovered The Lazy Genius, and she was talking about when you're creating a morning routine, make sure you have things in there that make you feel like you. And this video is not about morning routines or anything like that, but it has got me thinking, you know, how many times do us moms put off the things that we would like to do that make us feel like ourselves, and we just get the things done that we have to do. We just try to keep our head above water, so to speak. And for me, that one thing I feel that but I really truly feel like Megan is when I can be out and on a walk, like just moving, not necessarily even moving fast, but just going on a walk. Um, I like putting the kids, now this doesn't happen as much lately because the kids like to bike, but it's still, it's just as fun. But before, I would put them both in the stroller, give them a snack and just kind of pretend they weren't even there. I would just walk by myself. I felt like I was by myself even though they were along and it would just be my little bit of me time even though it really wasn't by myself. And so I don't know what that is for you. Maybe it's crafting or just baking. Some people just love to turn the lights off and clean after the kids are in bed and that you know, even though it is work, just feels a little bit like me time to them. So I don't know. I know me time can look so glamorous in certain stages of life and in other stages of life, it looks non-existent. And I just encourage you to get creative. We're going to talk about this later in the video, but make some time for something that makes you feel like yourself, something that fills your soul. And it could be a task, you know, like maybe you enjoy cleaning your cooking or even like the fresh smell of laundry. I don't know. Just romanticize your life a little bit in a little way even if they're spit up on your clothes and you just haven't slept good in weeks try to find something that puts a little light in your week you know it probably won't even happen daily <laughs> a lot of us at the stages that we're in it's probably not gonna happen daily but make time for it oh my goodness there they are they're so cute this is um, just the pothos that I picked out of my kitchen and here's the Schifflera clipping. I've never propagated that before, so we'll see if it grows roots or not. But I know the pothos will be fine, so it'll kind of be like my control <laughs> experiment. I know how that one's gonna go, but I'm not sure about the Schifflera, so we'll just change that water every week and see if the roots start taking hold. And there's our big mama Schifflera down here. She's so cute, I feel like she needs a name. See why I love Schifflera leaves? So pretty. Anyway, I need to get this ficus moved out of here and move on to the next thing. Okay, I have some 
more decorating to do, but I have been wanting to make like an herb bread with all of, like the fresh herbs that we have this summer. So I was looking some up online and I decided to try a recipe where you make it in your Dutch oven because I'm always looking for creative ways to use my Dutch oven and I thought maybe it would make it like a really good texture. I'm not a sourdough girl just because, well, I think I would enjoy it. It sounds like a very Megan thing, but um, I feel like then we're gonna always have bread around all the time and I don't really want to encourage my family to eat tons of bread. Like we eat a lot of just meat and vegetables and then when we eat bread, it's usually like part of a sandwich because you need a bun. So yes, I guess I could make sourdough for the buns and stuff or like we have waffles in the mornings and things, but for now I'm not at that stage of life. I'm not doing sourdough, but I found this really cool recipe on Cookie Rookie and um, basically I started it last night and I just put some flour, some salt, some yeast and room temperature water and then fresh rosemary from my herb garden. I didn't have enough so I also used some dry and I just combined that all into a bowl and covered it overnight. sitting there ever since. It says at least 12 hours. So it's been more like 14 hours. So I'm hoping that that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this into the oven and I'll be eating this for lunch alongside a salad. We'll see how it tastes. I'm excited. So truly this dough was as easy as it looks. I literally, after having it sit out all night, I plopped it out of the bowl and there it was. It was perfectly fine. This is a no need dough. There was nothing I needed to do with it. It wasn't too sticky or anything. I don't even know why I bothered sprinkling flour on my counter. I guess I just thought that it was going to, you know, need a little bit of working, but it did not. I put it right into my pretty Dutch oven, popped it in the oven, and I went back to decorating. The centerpiece on my table was just some flowers that me and Bonnie had picked out back and some hydrangeas for my mom and they were looking a little <laughs> tattered. So I decided it was time to change it up. I love this table runner but it doesn't have a ton of contrast with the table, it kind of blends in a little bit. So I decided to change it out with a macrame one that I had gotten at Target over the Christmas season. And I really like how it changed everything up and gave it a light and summery feel. But before I did that, I just cleaned off the table a little bit and used the multi-surface spray from Blue Land. One of my favorite views is when I'm standing in my kitchen and I can see my kitchen and I can look out and see my sun porch and it just makes me smile. I love, I really like it. I know I need to paint that wood trim around the door frame white. I think that would really help, but it almost, I don't know, at the same time, I feel like it's kind of as a frame for like the sun porch. So for now, it's staying the way it is until it truly bothers me. It's not bothering me right now, guys. <laughs> so it's gonna stay. And you're gonna see these pottery pieces popping up throughout the video. I got them at Joanne Fabrics for 70% off and I just thought they were so Megan, so perfect. And I know they'll be moved all throughout my home in the coming years. So this is just a temporary fix, but I love it. I think it looks so fresh. I got one of these pretty trays. And then there's pottery on the bottom and the little speckles here on the side. And I think it just looks so fresh and juicy. I actually had these sitting on the windowsill to try to ripen them up. So why not sit them here? They can be pretty and used as decor while they're also ripening up. We're so excited for peach season. And let me show you a little secret. I tucked apple in there because I needed another peach just to make it look better and fuller. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> And then the greenery is completely fake, but I feel like it makes everything pop just a little bit. I like it. Very simple, fresh, and summery. Oh my goodness, look at this loaf of bread. It is so pretty. I didn't even try any designs on it or anything, and it still looks like just so rustic. 
I am excited here. You have to let it cool before you eat it, so I'm just gonna get it right out right now. Look at that, it didn't stick or anything. And I'm just gonna put it here on the cooling rack. Okay, it definitely sounds crusty. Hopefully not overdone, but I followed the directions exactly, so we'll see how it works out. So I had done a little bit of decorating a while back and I had told you guys that it wasn't perfect because I didn't really have enough pieces, but I also didn't want to just go out and buy stuff just to fill space. I wanted to wait till I found the perfect things. And I did at Joann's, like I mentioned. And so I added a few just sprinklings of pottery and different, just moved some things around just to give everything a little bit more of a fresh feel. Do you guys decorate for summertime? I don't, it's pretty much just like the same from March through September. And I realized here that this is July and I'm gonna be decorating for fall very soon. So I didn't wanna waste a lot of time overthinking, but we were also having guests over for our annual chicken barbecue. And I did wanna kinda of just fill in some of the spaces and take away some of the gaps and the things that I wasn't really loving in that space. Okay, I'm gonna take a break before, I mean, I think I'm done decorating, but why, when you decorate, does it just make such a mess? There's like just stuff, I mean, look at that. Like, mess everywhere. I have to like store some stuff, and the pompous grass, of course, I need to vacuum up after that. I actually don't have a problem with it once it's there, as long as people don't touch it. I know I've had some people ask me like, oh my word, isn't that just continually leaving a mess? And not really. Um, it's just when you're decorating and moving it around a lot, that's when it tends to fluff up. But anyway, I wanna cut into this loaf here, see how it is, um, and make myself a little lunch, and then I gotta go pick the kids up. And um, we'll probably go walk in on the trail or play at the water table, and then I'll put them down for naps and do more, I'll probably edit this video, honestly. Anyway, so let's do that. Pretty. Look at that. So here is lunch. The bread looks so good. I can't wait to bite into that. Uh, this is just organic mixed greens. And then I just put some shaved Parmesan on and salt and pepper, cracked salt and pepper. And then I'm going to, for my dressing, use this lemon white balsamic from Olio. It's a local little store near us. And I just cut it with about 30 to 40% extra virgin olive oil, which I've already done. And I just drizzle it over everything. Let's add some to the Bread. Mmm. This should give me energy <laughs> to get all that stuff cleaned up. Okay, the bread. Five stars for sure. It was so good, and I actually didn't make it with all fresh rosemary, like I said, because I didn't have enough, and it's still really good. Um, I feel like it'd be really fun to even experiment with like garlic or like some cheese in there, but that whole method in a Dutch oven, if you have one, try it. It makes like the perfect rustic loaf. Um, it's like 
can you see that it's so pillowy in the middle and then the edges are really like crusty which is what i love i love that like chewy where you have to like chew it um and i'm just dipping it here in my lemon balsamic this is why i don't make bread guys because it's so good <laughs> anyway go try it for yourself i will link it below i can't wait to try this again so i was getting crafty <laughs> I don't even know where I'm gonna put these, but I just felt like making them. Um, they're just like these faux, um, like dried palms that you can make out of paper. So basically, I made them yesterday, and let me tell you what I did. They were really, really simple. So making these palm fronds is actually really fun, easy, and not very scientific at all. All you're gonna need is some brown butcher paper, which I get at Dollar Tree, and then a scissors, a pencil, and a hot glue gun. And I have a Sharpie here because I want you to be able to see the lines I'm drawing, but I recommend just using a pencil. And then you just wanna draw this basic shape here. It does not have to be symmetrical at all because after you cut it out, you're gonna fold it in half, and then anything that's sticking out on either side, just trim it off. Like I said, this is super unscientific and you just wanna get a basic symmetrical shape. And then you know when you would sit in church when you were bored and make those fans, well, it's kinda of what you're gonna do here. Just fold it in half, leave it folded in half and then work on the one side first and then the other side by just folding it back and forth, back and forth in accordion pleating folds like this. And you wanna make your folds pretty small and crisp that way it gives it a nice shape to your leaves. And then the outside edges are gonna have like the shortest pleats so you wanna cut off the bottom at the bottom of the outside edges, if that makes any sense, right like this. That way the bottom is flat, and then you can kind of fan the leaf out at this point. But if you wanna make it more flexible and more fanned out, you just take your scissors and go in and cut like the peak and the valley, the peak and the valley, right along the folds for each pleat, I guess we'll call it. And I just cut in about two inches, an inch and a half on the small ones, like totally whatever you wanna do. And you wouldn't even have to do every single peak and valley, you could just do all the valleys or all the peaks, just make, when you decide to make these, set up some time that you can just kind of experiment and make a bunch and kind of learn what you like. That's kind of how I did. And then for the stem, you just wanna kind of cut yourself a big, long, skinny rocket shape. I did not measure or anything. And I just folded it down the middle and then folded each edge into the middle again. And then to give it some support, I used skewers that I had been soaking in water. I figured if I soak them in the water, then they'll be <laughs> more flexible and I can like kind of bend the palm fronds and make them not look so ramrod straight. And then I just tucked the kebab skewer in there and hot glued it down and hot glued everything together. Don't worry about it looking perfect at all. You're gonna end up spray painting this and it's most of it, most of the stem is gonna go into a vessel or a jar anyway. And you'll see that there's a point at the top and that's where you wanna tuck the ends of your leaves into that point. So it kind of like wraps around either side of the leaf. Now, if they don't all get like this, that's fine. You're not really gonna see those little details. And the one I'm showing you here didn't get as good, but here's another one that got a little bit better. Like I said, I was kind of experimenting and what seemed to work the best was to, to tuck the end tightly into the point. And then you can go ahead and leave them the way they are. You can spray paint them. You can use white paper right off the bat if you'd like white ones. I would have loved to find some very creamy tan linen-y paper, but I didn't feel like running to the store for more supplies. So we just stuck with this and I used some different neutral colored spray paints that I had and just kind of had fun with it. So I'm hoping that I can use these to decorate with and that they turn out okay. And if you're wondering what in the world I'm using as like my spraying mat, that's actually just it looked like a little Shasta RV camper thing that I used on a bulletin board back when I taught second grade. And for some reason I saved it. It was all warped and faded. And so I was like, you know what? This will be a perfect thing to use as like a spraying mat since I didn't have any newspaper around. Yeah, I don't know where they're gonna go, but I'm gonna get around to playing with them like they're flowers. Um, and I have to say, I really like how the paint turned out. This is like the rust colored one. And here is the brown one. And they're definitely still holding their structure with the skewers in there. Um, here's the white one as well. And then this one here, I just like dusted it, misted it with the white. And it looks cool from a distance. Up close, it looks a little bit speckly. Um, but I like it, just like toned it down a little bit. And then this is the gold one, which it kind of looks the same color as the original brown. It's just shimmerier. Oh, and this is just a cracked toilet bowl brush holder. <laughs> Um, don't worry, it's very clean, um, but it broke and so I didn't trust using it anymore, but I glued it back together and it looks completely fine on this side. Nobody needs to know, right?
Okay, so I have a little craft project going here and I thought I'd show it to you all quickly because I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm excited. Um, I saw something kind of like this online and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try DIYing this. So, so here is a pack of four glasses that I got off of Amazon and I'm going to use this. It's like a frosted white, it's supposed to be permanent vinyl, so we'll see. And I wanna stick some cute quotes on here um, and then I also got glass straws and it's just gonna be like a cute coffee moment in the afternoon when the kids go down for their naps and I don't know, I just love like pretty little touches like that. Um, and so I'm just gonna, it's hard for you to see it on here I guess, but I have my project set up and I'm gonna get this going. back out of the way here look oh my goodness it is so pretty it has like the frosted glass uh, little like flowers on it and then I put on the quote every day is beautiful um, it's kind of a pun to me because um, every day is beautiful in its own way but the everyday in life like the everyday ordinary things are beautiful and I want to remember that <laughs> um, so I wanted to put that on a quote on my little coffee mug here it was a little tedious to put it on, I'm not gonna lie, but wow. It is adorable. Let's go put some coffee in this thing. Cheers. Seriously, this thing has made my day. It is so adorable. I don't know how it's gonna hold up in the dishwasher. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, it is so cute. Just make sure you use like the frosted white. It looks so much better than just like plain white. Um, it looks like it's etched glass. Mm. I like the glass straws too. I've never had a glass straw. Anyway, I feel like I need to sit here and hold it like this while I chat. <laughs> but yeah, this is something that's been on my to-do list for a while and I feel like us as moms or homemakers, sometimes we just do not have time to make time for the to-do list stuff that you know we wanna do. I have a running to-do list in my head of things that I would love to make time for and I just don't have the time to do it. And they just get pushed on the back burner, um, like decorating and baking and um, making cute DIYs and stuff like that. So I encourage you, life can be so crazy and so busy. There goes Josh, he's mowing. <laughs> um, yeah, I just encourage you to make time to do just even one little thing off of your to-do list that you wanna do. You know, read one chapter in the book or put your feet up for five minutes or sew or craft or bake or something like that. Something that's like still to do but a fun to do. I think sometimes we forget that we, if we are a homemaker, are our own boss and we only really have to answer to ourselves and our family. So yeah, make time for something little this week and see how it makes you feel. So anyway, I should just take this with me and go prop my feet up and read a book, but unfortunately that was my little self care for the day crafting. I have to go edit a video and I'll catch up with you guys in just a sec. So I did film a segment of me and Josh reacting to your baby name suggestions and it was so fun, but I decided not to just tack it on at the end of this video. This video is long enough already and I figured I don't want anybody to miss that video. So I will upload that here soon, but not in this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it inspired you to do some beautiful homemaking in whatever way that looks to you. Remember, this is my life. Yours is your life. It doesn't have to look at all the same, but hopefully it was a little bit motivating. And also check out Blue Land and use my code MeganFox15 for 15% off. Remember, you're already getting 20% off with the cleaning kit. And then my code is just an extra 15% off. So definitely a great deal. Check them out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.